and state-led intervention model by state of Maharashtra. I would like to call the session moderator, Dr. Shanu Mishra from IQVI and Dr. Mrigan Deka from WHO India to please take over from here. Thank you. Thank you, Gulshan, and uh, very good afternoon to all of you. Uh, so it was a very uh, learning uh, session three for all of us, and uh, now we are going ahead with the session four. With over two million uh, TB cases, and India contributed contributes 26 percent of our global TB cases every year. Our honourable Prime Minister had announced uh, to end TB by 2025. Uh, 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 against the agreed sustainable, uh, that sustainable uh, development goals targets, okay, that is agreed by the globally. Now, uh, and to uh, response to this clarion call of Honorable Prime Minister, and to act swiftly, the national, uh, this uh, multi-sectoral collaboration uh, has been noted as very crucial component, not at the national level, at the state and district level also. To, uh, and, and uh, now this multi-sectoral collaboration has been, uh, you know, uh, is a very uh, important part of our national tuberculosis elimination programs. Here, we, where we are collaborating with different ministries, different departments, uh, corporates, uh, then PSUs, public sector undertakings, not at the national level only, at the state and district level. And uh, because as we know that this TB is not only a disease, uh, it's a social disease also, that we have this uh, social economic, uh, uh, that this uh, components also play a very important role. And to cover all the parts, you know, uh, to eliminate TB, this multi-sectoral collaboration has already started at different states, okay? Here in the in the in our session we have uh, four presentation, but that doesn't mean that in other states it is not yet started. But due to um, that, uh, we have took some few good practices from the states so that we can showcase it here and that others can also learn it from here. And uh, uh, with this, we can uh, yes, we are uh, want to uh, start our session. And uh, I am handing over to uh, Dr. Shanu to, yes, to introduce the, uh, the speakers for this session. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. So without wasting much of your time, so I would like to call upon our speakers for this session. So first of all, I would like to invite Dr. Santosh Roy, who is the state TB officer from West Bengal. A very well welcome, sir. Uh, then. Uh, the presentation would be by Dr. Vaidya, who is the Joint Director TB from the Gujarat Health and Family Department. Sir would be joining us virtually. Uh, now I would like to request Dr. Rehana Begum, who is the Project Lead for Breaking the Barriers Project from KHPT. On the dais, please. Our next presenter would be Dr. Yole, who is the Team Lead from State Technical Support Unit, Maharashtra. A very warm welcome to all the presenters who have joined us physically and virtually. Uh, there would be a slight modification in the agenda. Uh, Dr. Santosh Roy has a flight to catch, so I would request him to present first. So Dr. Santosh Roy is the state TB officer from West Bengal, and sir would be presenting his uh, presentation on the success stories from West Bengal, what all the state has done to achieve 
the TB elimination <coughs> through different collaborations. Over to you, sir. Good afternoon, <coughs> dignities on the dais, my colleagues from the states, esteemed audience. Uh, <coughs> in the next few minutes, I would be sharing with you all uh, regarding what we have done on this multi-sectoral engagement in West Bengal. And this is just a glimpse. Lots of things will follow. So basically, uh, we have been engaging with lots of departments, uh, lots of sectors. The noted among them, few, few of them are Eastern coal fields. You know, Dhanbad, Jharkhand, this Jamshedpur, and the adjoining Rani Ganj, Asansol, Durgapur, this belt has got coal mines. And we have engaged uh, Eastern coal fields. They have a central hospital there, and they have their uh, area hospitals and dispensaries. So they are very much <coughs> uh, working in uh, tandem with, in very close cooperation with us, right from uh, the in inception of RNTCP. So it's a very long uh, collaboration, either in the form of a designated microscopy center or a treatment center or both. And definitely all of them are PHIs. Then we have Durgapur Steel Plant. They have their hospitals. They are participating in our program. We have collaborated with railways in a big way. Chitranjan Locomotive Works, Eastern Railway and Southeastern Railway. Their network of uh, tertiary level hospitals and peripheral health units, they are working uh, in our program. We have correctional homes, central government health, uh, the CGS dispensaries. Then we have ex servicemen's uh, this contributory health scheme dispensaries, ESI, all of them are working in our program. Uh, National Thermal Power Corporation is in Farakka. Farakka Thermal Power, you must, be, you must have heard of it. So they are also working uh, with us. Uh, they have their uh, hospitals out there. Damodar Valley Corporation, again, based in Durgapur, they are also working with us. There are certain missionary hospitals, tea gardens, defense establishments, and they are very much on board in our collaborative activities. So basically, what are we trying to look at? We are trying to uh, pro uh, provide uh, diagnostic services, treatment services, as per our NDP guidelines. And each one of them, they have their own NICSHA ID. They are very much mapped in the NICSHA portal. And they have their own ID. They are notifying cases and time to time updating, providing outcomes on their own. It's not, uh, we do often have to support them, but uh, they are now doing on their own, most of them. Though at times there are technical issues which we need uh, to provide technical support also. Then wherever needed, <coughs> uh, we do link up with our nearest PHIs, uh, microscopy center or a NAT site, maybe a true NAT site or CV NAT site, whichever is applicable. And we do uh, these linkages. Then they also participate in our active case search exercises and they also uh, participate in the capacity building and other advocacy level activities. So now these are some of the, besides these uh, central government undertakings and standalone units, we have also uh, collaborated with various line departments of the state government. Uh, some of them are just mentioned here, that's, uh, the list is only indicative and not exhaustive. We have Panchayati uh, Raj Institution collaborating for awareness generation, nutrition, supplement. Yes, there are many Panchayat uh, areas, uh, Panchayat Pradhans, who are supporting their local TB patients with extra food supplements. We have a Women and Child Dev uh, Development Department, ICDS centers, you know, they, uh, uh, within the ambit of the Rashtriya Bal Swast Karikram. There is a mobile school health team who visits schools as well as uh, ICDS centers. Now screening is done there also in the ICDS centers. Then the education department through again RBSK and RKSK. RK, RBSK is the Rashtriya Bal Swast Karikram. Again the mobile health team is there uh, with a team of uh, Ayush doctors, pharmacists, nursing staff. They visit various schools and there these screening program and awareness program uh, and various quiz contests and student based activities are carried out uh, on various uh, aspects of our program. CSR schemes, yes, this is a new concept, and uh, we have uh, we have Goodrick, as Dr. Prasad was here uh, in the morning. He was uh, he's also very much involved in West Bengal. His um, uh, some of the Goodrick Tea Gardens in West Bengal, they are involved. They are di hospitals, dispensaries, doctors. In fact, uh, in the tea gardens itself, we have our health sub centers. 
where Asha Didis are there, where our ANM Didis are there, and they are very much in uh, um, uh, providing services to the workers of the tea gardens. A very, uh, very, there is a very close cooperation, particularly in the North Bengal districts of Darjeeling, Alipur Dwar, Jalpai Guri, where these predominantly tea gardens are uh, there. Uh, then we have, coming to South Bengal, we have Ambuja Cement. They are uh, providing uh, big support to the local TB patients. Fortis Hospital, yes, now they are onboarding, and there are many in the pipeline who will be joining us very soon. Then we have Association of Hospitals of Eastern India. It is a consortium of about 19 big hospitals, corporate hospitals like Amri, Apollo, Woodlands, Bellevue, and so on. And they have an association, and they are now coming in a big way in Kolkata to uh, work in our program. They have, all of them, uh, almost uh, all big hospitals are mapped in Iksha. Now, with the support of the State Technical Support Unit uh, of West Bengal, who have been onboarded in February last week, uh, training programs are going on with uh, collaboration with our local DTOs and MOTCs. And we hope that uh, very soon we will, uh, this will be an exponential notification in TB cases from the private sector. Then again, we have Tribal Development Department. This is collaborative activities are going on in a big way. Uh, we, had, <clears throat> we have about uh, 31 out of 31, 341 blocks in West Bengal, where there are population is predominantly tribal. Two of our districts, Darjeeling and Alipurdwar, they have been notified as tribal districts. So here, again, some intensified efforts are going on, and their uh, action plan is included in the district strategic plan for elimination of TB by 2025. So concerns, yes, there are concerns, and concerns are what? because uh, there are competing priorities of the district officials, often prevent close liaisoning, it's there. Then case notification have come down over a period of time, not the state as a whole, it is from the other sectors. So there have been, uh, during the COVID period and thereafter, case notification had come down, but now with the renewed uh, vigor and energy that we have jumped in, uh, with various stakeholders joining hands in hand, we will definitely improve in this uh, by the end of this year. So <clears throat> what is the scope? Uh, West Bengal has come out with a slogan, and that has been approved by the highest authority of the state with a big political commitment. Our honorable chief minister has slogan captioned as TB Mukto Bangla by 2025. Now we are using this caption everywhere, TB Mukto Bangla means uh, TB uh, free West Bengal. So. <clears throat> Under this uh, slogan, we are approaching all departments like we did in the Easter years during the pulse polio elimination time. And the same process is more or less, uh, we are taking the same policy involving st all stakeholders uh, to come forward, whether it is from the general administration, line department, health department, other sectors, civil society, NGOs, and everyone. So now with STSU on board, <coughs> We hope that we will take comprehensively involve other sectors, and not simply for referrals, but for many other activities, uh, for like adopting TB patients, involving them in CSR schemes, and so on. So what are we doing? The program had involved these sectors quite a long time back. But now, the new team of STSU has chipped in from February 2022. And with this, we are now planned visits and executing visits in a mission mode uh, so that <coughs> our planned activities are done. And believe me, we are, we are sitting with the STSU team every week to see, to take stock of the situation, what could be achieved this week and what we are planning for the next week so that it's a very close monitoring being done. So what do we expect? We expect that aware awareness generation will increase stigma will decrease, <coughs> acceptance of affected communities for diagnosis and treatment, then there will be preventive measures being more uh, stringently implemented across the state. Workplace policy, I have learned a lot. Thanks uh, that you gave us, me, uh, gave us this opportunity to participate in this meeting. We will definitely uh, go back and implement our, uh, we will approach our, uh, uh, this uh, labor department and do whatever necessary, and we will get in touch with all uh, um, factories and corporates to ensure that workplace policy is in place. And definitely that will lead, uh, lead to increase in notification of our TB cases and reduction of TB burden henceforth. 
Now I would like to place with you, before you, four case studies. There are lots of case studies, but four important ones, which I thought that this could be uh, nice sharing with you all. Number one, this is uh, our collaborative activities with the tribal department. So tribal development department <coughs> uh, that was engaged prior to STSU was onboarded. But once STSU came, came into the picture, things have been uh, uh, moving fast forward. So what happened? <coughs> There was a video conference held with all the district counterparts. It was a joint video conference with the health department, tribal department, the district officials of the tribal department, as well as the uh, health officials of uh, ANAWAP, NTP program, DTOs, and other uh, officials, functionaries of the uh, districts. So this was under, um, in the presence of the secretary. And there a plan of action uh, was uh, made, prepared, and that has been included in the district strategic plan. So most of the districts now on the verge of completion of the district strategic plan for elimination of TB by 2025. And the tribal component has been incorporated there. Then convergent meetings are held in 15 districts. Thirst is most on the four districts with higher proportion of tribal population. Some of the activity calendar has already been prepared by some of the districts, and it is ongoing for rest of the districts. So <clears throat> again, the important aspect was that tribal uh, department has their own annual action plan and budgeting. And definitely TB-related activities will be budgeted in their action plan also. This is very important thing that we could uh, negotiate and got through. The second case is involvement of railways, renewed in uh, uh, strengthening our involvement in railways. So what we did, we started once again uh, we did some few uh, CMEs in the Eastern Railway Hospital at Kolkata and Southeastern Railway again at Kolkata, that is B.R. Singh Hospital and the Central Hospital of Southeastern Railway, Metro Railways. And after that, suddenly we found that they, they took interest and they uh, issued internal communication among the doctors who are all the specialists and OPD, uh, OPD doctors. And then you can see what result within a very short time uh, we could see that notification and case detection of TB cases improved within a short period of time, which was so long stagnant. So now this is an important event which occurred uh, very recently in May 2022, and things are now uh, visibly, uh, visible improvement is very much seen. So there were follow-up visits. We could uh, establish this diagnostic capacity of these railway hospitals. Very soon we will be providing them NAT machines also. And they have a very good infrastructure of lab, but they do not have a, lab, a true NAT machine. So we will, be, or NAT machine, whichever is feasible, we will provide them. Yes, putum microscopy they are doing. They have lots of scope of diagnostic extra pulmonary cases at being a tertiary level institute, pediatric cases. So we have interacted with the various specialists out there, and hopefully uh, we will sh be sharing in our next presentation sometime in future that things have improved a lot. And then there are annual conferences where we'll be participating. Niksha training has been provided to all these hospitals. Case number three. This is about participation of the hospitals of uh, this association of Eastern India. Our health secretary, sir, very recently issued an advisory to all the private clinical establishment of the state and individual private practitioners for their proactive participation in the TB program. We have a state clinical establishment cell, which is the licensing authority of these clinical establishments. So the very, there is a very strong coordination between state TB cell and the state clinical establishment cell. The clinical establishment cell ensures that these private hospitals do come at the state headquarters for sensitization meetings on TB, specifically on TB. And we from the state TB cell, we sensitize them, we tell them what to do and what not to do. We pro provide them all support. And in this training is being, this sensitization is being held in series. So the second one is scheduled just day after tomorrow, uh, will be a uh, few days uh, from now. And uh, these big hospitals, once we get catch hold of them, the smaller units will automatically be on board because all these big hospitals are always linked with peripheral uh, smaller nursing homes and uh, hospitals, private hospitals. So this is uh, another thing is that we also collaborating, some of the private hospitals have uh, agreed to come up with the DRTB, uh, have a private DRTB wards also. So we are working on that, and uh, let's see how it goes. Case four, 
This is about inform, uh, involving the informal healthcare providers uh, in West Bengal. So there is a large pool of so-called quack practitioners in both in rural and urban areas of Bengal. On an average, we have about three and three to four in a village. So in almost we have almost close to two lakh such uh, practitioners, uh, these informal healthcare providers. And West Bengal government has officially said that we will give you rupees 500 as informant incentive. You refer cases to us. Not only in TB program, they are also involved in other public health programs, dengue, malaria, during the COVID times, uh, and so forth, diarrheal diseases, outbreaks. So they are a sort of a link person between the community and our health system. So they are very much on board, and, uh, and that, that, that also officially. With um, STSU being uh, on board now, they have again focused on few of the districts like Hooghly, Boshirhat, North 24, Nandigram, and they are taking a special drive uh, to involve them in our program. And that is uh, one important, very unique thing that uh, they have, uh, they could motivate them is to uh, build a non-political platform named ITB. That means informal healthcare providers for TB-free Bengal. Now, under this banner, it is a apolitical, non-political organization of the informal healthcare providers, and we hope to uh, take uh, forward from here. Let's see what happens. Other engagements we have been engaging, uh, particularly this slide is uh, totally uh, uh, the activities of STSU in addition to what has been done uh, earlier. So in April, uh, with the support from our STSU team, we could engage with social welfare department, uh, like mapping of vagrant homes, and we will be going there. These are the vulnerable populations to whom we have to go frequently. Then Bidhan Nagar Municipal Corporation, they are on, we, are, we are also planning to have a TB-free corporation and we are working on that. We will be uh, approach, we have approached the industry uh, sector and the CII and they have already uh, pledge, uh, taken the corporate TB pledge. Then we, we have approached this labor department, the BRI binding unions. It's not only up approaching them. We, we will have to uh, bring about a behavior change communication in, in their health-seeking behavior. That is more important. Because a day wa go wastage in coming to the government sector means a, a wage loss for them. So we have to think of a modality where, uh, where, whereby we can at least bring about some change because they are daily wage earners. The whole family is involved in BRI binding. So if any one person is sick and uh, does not work for a day, they lose their wage. So we will have to gradually bring about a behavior change communication. Then we are involved with the State Urban Development Authority uh, so that all the ULBs under the ambit of National Urban Health Mission, uh, we, are having a, we will be having a very focused approach uh, through under the uh, banner of NUHM uh, to involve, to monitor and involve all urban local health bodies, municipal corporations in our program. Education department, they are already on board. Uh, then defense, just day, uh, day before yesterday, we had a um, uh, sensitization meeting at the uh, Eastern Command Hospital in Kolkata. And this, this, this is going to be, I tell you, it, it is going to be a very fruitful uh, collaboration. But just a point of caution, because there are defense personnel, the data sharing is a, uh, is a limitation. Uh, <coughs> individual uh, data sharing is a limitation. I don't know about other states. And one unique model, what, what, what is in the pipeline, is the PPSA model for Kolkata Municipal Corporation through Doctors for You, supported by GNJ under CSR scheme. So uh, we are expecting that this should be on board by the year end. And this would be a unique model in, under the CSR scheme. A PPSA activity would be carried out in only for Kolkata Municipal Corporation. So I'm uh, keeping my fingers crossed and hoping for the best. So these are some of the expectations and achievements uh, that uh, the whole activity, what impact would have, uh, it would have on our program, awareness generation, reduction of stigma, involvement of the civil society and the community at large. Then there would be acceptance of the affected communities. They would accept our services and we will be able to address multiple social issues associated with TB and what outcomes do we expect? We expect to establish a mechanism between the health sector and uh, binding a close cooperation with other line departments and other sectors, which would definitely help in increased notification of TB cases and we would also uh, achieve workplace policy and definitely increasing our Niksha Mitras across the state. 
and achievements will definitely um, ice breaking is already done it will be uh, more vigorous in the time to come stakeholders sensitized uh, sorry sensitized on tb mukto bangla and planning and budgeting for some activities challenges yes there were challenges and there are challenges so challenges are what why do other sector think labor department tribal department uh, school department why humko tb tb se kya lena dena so point is this why they were mane why should they be interested in working with us so we, it was a uh, challenge for us and that could be taken care of by the uh, involvement of our higher authorities our health secretary himself is uh, is very much supportive of our program towards a program mission director and whole health team reaching out to multiple sectors within a short frame of time there so many sectors to go now again here prioritizing is important that we should now think that whom to go first and whom to go next then again facilitating corporate consultations uh, it is again difficulty in getting the csrs so but we will overcome uh, definitely in the next few days uh, we will again involve our health secretary to approach all the principal secretary of these respective departments and things would be sorted out there are technical issues in niksha usudi for which we are getting support from ctd these are some of the glimpses of the various activities uh, you can see uh, the stcu team the stc state tv cell team our principal secretary sir and so on in various activities and now way forward this is a indicative so we are going to engage with the labor department next week panchayat pri wcd corporate consultations would be there and so forth and so on thank you very much for your patient listening thank you very much uh, thank you sir we congratulate dr roy for effective collaboration with different line departments especially the tribal and railways and associations of hospitals so we hope that uh, with the support of stsu now which is now on board you will surely achieve the tb mukto banglo bangla tb mukto bangla target with this i would like to invite dr vaidya state tb officer gujarat for his presentation on multi sectoral and corporate engagement uh, dr vaidya would be joining us virtually uh, good afternoon dignitaries on the dais of the dais and esteemed participants under national tb elimination program multi sectoral and corporate engagement in gujarat is having a very important role as it is time to come together to end tb our honorable prime minister vision of tb india so there is a need of quantum jump to achieve reduction in number of tb deaths in tb incidence rate and catastrophic cost due to tb so this will definitely benefited by multi sectoral corporate sector engagement as we all know that private sector engagement and multi sectoral response is an essential component of tb elimination strategies it has already started with highest political and administrative commitment in gujarat as our honorable cm of gujarat health minister honorable vidhan sabha speaker and ses addressed a mla workshop for tb elimination awareness this program is also being monitored at honorable cm office by cm dashboard currently available indicators in cm dashboard are tb notification nishchay poshan yojana success rate so these are all being regularly monitored at the highest level of the state this uh, next please next slide next 
as we all know that pb is also a social problem and needs multi sectors engagement approach in gujarat all pscs having designated microscopy center where sputum testing for to be tb cases are available tb preventive therapy have been launched by honorable health minister state wide on 7th april uh, on the eve of world health day of corners in all psc up to primary health centers also getting socio economic support along with iec this is very important slide here the involvement of various department as a part of multi sectoral approach is ensured as we can see that the women and child development department helps us in screening of anganwadi children or identifying certain symptoms supported by community health officers rbsk and medical officers panchayati raj institutions ensures tb free village with ownership of the sarpanch it has been planned a long ago so we are working seriously on this so a village tb free definitely a tb free primary health center tb free taluka level and tb free district so these are the progression strata so in tribal department we can take the support of diagnosing support through tribal sub plan budget joint action plan to eliminate tb in tribal district is in process so sir so tribal department has also provided cb nut and true nut machines to their budget to their tribal department budget <coughs> ministry of ayush ayurvedic hospital are also involved for presumptive tb referral identifying the tb cases and referring at appropriate level information and communication department helping us in ic activities through mass media campaign live program in doordarshan and other tv channel facebook live programs wooden drug department a very important department we can say that the implementation of h1 drug surveillance is also very important involvement of chemists in the program has also been ensured labor department esi hospitals they are also involved for diagnosis of tuberculosis and implementation of the various regimes railway department screen and diagnosis of tuberculosis in railway hospitals and dispensaries and in employee inter departmental coordination is a key process all medical colleges involved rbsk and rksk department involved to diagnose tb cases in and in children and reproductive age group next information education and communication various government agencies are involved like directorate of information department of gujarat Dur Darshan, as I already mentioned, Baisak for Satcom and One Day Gujarat channel dedicated for health and other programs in Gujarat. The glimpses of various activities for NTP in print media, the uh, support from the information department, so organizing various talk show. information on social media percolated through facebook live program from the state glimpses of a special mask selfie campaign involving administrative and political personality last year pure tb patients are being trained and identified as tb champions with the support of union to uh, unite to act project rich development partners more than 800 pure tb patients are working and in some district rapid response team of taluka level to prevent any default of the tb cases engaging pure tb patient as a tb champions is also very important and engagement of the existing community groups like pri self help group village health sanitation and nutrition committee 
mass youth club as, as well as the grievance redressal mechanism has also been developed involvement of community representative in the different forums is also there state specific inter intervention of yoga for tb patients yoga for tb patients also in post treatment follow up of tb patients is very important and all the medical government medical colleges in ahmedabad baroda surat bhavnagar jamnagar and gandhinagar are there and they are for yoga for tb patients during illness as all as also in the post treatment follow up of the patients operative corporate initiative for tb free workplace as we are talking this morning we have also taken initiatives for tb free workplace our district tuberculosis officers organized various meetings with the corporate sector in gujarat industrial area training adani tb free workplace wellspun foundation naira energy for tb free workplace training in tata chemicals district level corporate consultations have been organized and this is a very important area for which we all are gathered here state level workshop supported by union and who for corporate social responsibility has also been organized in gujarat corporate engagement the training for tv in ahmedabad has also been organized more than 100 participants from all districts of gujarat including dto ppm coordinators who consultant and representatives from gujarat chamber of commerce esic fuji film adani best mumbai attended this program this workshop i can say and three corporate partners like jk lakshmi cement rupin foundation and bkt industries joined the corporate tv pledge program recently regional level workshop for capacity building for corporate tv pledge by union organized for to for as the corporate social responsibility so it whole day workshop invited all the ttp members workplace csr intervention and ntp building their capacity so this is the great we can say achievement in the area of corporate sector training by the union sensitization workshop for chamber of commerce in ahmedabad called for corporate social responsibility corporate consultations with phd chambers of commerce and industry on october 5th at ahmedabad gujarat was also where you can see the highest officials and corporate sector the workshop for corporate sector engagement federation of kash industries association kokia facilitated us teams usa teams meeting with their mobilized ttp members in gujarat these are certain glimpses and there was also flag of on as a corporate social responsibility corporate tb pledge initiative its members fuji film provided mobile extra one to district kach to support active case finding So these are the glimpses of photo. Frequent USA and WHO team visit is also helping in strengthening our corporate social responsibility as well as these are being attended by PhD chambers in Ahmedabad, followed by meeting with Adani Group in Mundra, Kutch, and Adani Hospital in Bhuj, and meeting with Pokia. so these all are important initiatives are being taken in gujarat for which we have been felicitated in ntp in india by momento and uh, ultimately we are strengthening day and night for in this area so thank you very much ctd and union for giving this opportunity for virtually joining me thanks a lot thanks uh thank you thank you uh, dr uh, vaidya from sto gujarat for giving a wonderful presentation uh, on this multi sectoral and corporate engagement that has been one of the they had, uh, make some standards uh, for how we should move ahead uh, on this multi sectoral and uh, corporate sector so uh, listening uh, after listening to our eminent uh, speakers uh, from west bengal and gujarat we are moving to our third speaker dr Rihana Begum, who will be talking on uh, PR engagement, please. Yeah. Yeah. 
Thank you so much, uh, Dr. Mrigan. I would also like to take this opportunity to thank the organizers for giving us this platform to share Karnataka's experience in engaging with the PRI to accelerate the TB elimination efforts. <laughs> Uh, so in the next 10 minutes, for first five minutes, I'll be talking about why engage with PRIs, what is the need for convergence, and also our uh, experience in Karnataka on the GPA. Followed by this, I will show a short uh, film which uh, kind of uh, takes you through our journey in Karnataka of implementing the PRI engagement. Uh, today with me, I have uh, Ms. Elizabeth, who is the program support lead uh, for Karnataka. She would also add some insights uh, to this. So why engage, with, uh, G, uh, why engage with GPs or the Gram Panchayats? In, Government of India has a mandate to end TB by 2025. And GPs are, are crucial assets to provide solutions locally and also to fast track the TB elimination activities. As they are closest to the communities, they have been trusted by the communities, elected by the communities, and they understand the demography, context, local context, available resources, existing challenges in the healthcare system. And also, they are the decision-making bodies. They have been trusted by the people and they've been elected by them. And they also have been empowered with the untied fund. So they have the potential to proactively affect the TB policies and the programs. And moreover, they have the necessity to mandate attention and active involvement of the activities elected representatives can take place as they are, they represent the rural communities and they are from these communities and they represent all sections, including gender and vulnerable groups. Uh, so coming to uh, why engage, uh, why have a convergence at the grassroots levels, so uh, the GP, we have a lot of mandated structures which are already existing. At the Gram Sabhas, we have the VHNCs, the school health de development committees. We have the uh, you know uh, various other committees which are already existing at the Gram Sabha levels. We also have occupational uh, committees like the Weavers Group or the uh, caste based Sanghas, and we have youth groups. At the GP level, also we have a lot of mandated committees, which includes the SAG federations uh, and various other Narega groups and all those things. And at the same time, we also have the health bodies like the health and wellness centers, which has a functionaries like the ASHA facilitators, CHO, and ANMs. So there are a lot of existing mandatory structures at the local uh, level including you know, uh, health function, various health functionaries. So GPAs are best positioned to bring them all together, and they all work for the various departments in silos. So there are 29 departments which they work for at the Gram Panchayat levels, and most of them, they work in silos. So, and these GPAs have the ability to bring everyone together and tie them up to work for the health, of, health and well-being of the population. So given this, that there is a need for convergence at the grassroots levels, it is important that we uh, work with these GPs to include uh, on working for TB to accelerate the TB elimination efforts. So GPA is a, a unique initiative being implemented in Karnataka, which brings about a synergy of uh, you know, among the low communities at the village level, the gram panchayats and the health facilities in the rural areas with a common vision to ensure that the village and the panchayat level bodies drive the agenda of health for all. And also the goal of this GPA was to end, build the demand and take the services to the doorsteps of the vulnerable groups through the GPA leadership. So these are some of the focus areas which we have been implementing in Karnataka, and it included uh, TB uh, free uh, Gram Panchayat. And we, uh, each of these Gram uh, Panchayats are equipped with a health management kit, 
as in the morning we had heard uh, Dr. Malik Parma talking about, you know, uh, having some kind of, not only looking at TB, but also looking at various comorbidities and all those things. This is a unique kind of initiative which has been done in Karnataka. This kit is equipped with various other uh, diagnostic um, things which can be done at the local, taken the health to the doorstep of the vulnerable population, and also the GPA can uh, kind of, you know, built upon doing these kind of activities through the uh, health camps and other things. So GPA are well equipped to kind of mobilize the communities uh, and conduct various health camps and also create awareness among the uh, population. So this is basically talks about the convergence, uh, which had, uh, you can see that at the Gram Sabha, we have the various uh, committees and also at the Panchayat level, we have committees. So it is uh, the nodal agency, the GPAS can be act as a nodal agency to anchor various communities. As in the morning also, we heard from Dr. Neeraj Raizada, who said that it is important for us to now not only just talk about multi-sectoral uh, uh, collaborations, but it is why are we doing this? To ensure that we uh, accelerate the TB elimination efforts. So on those grounds, it is important that the decentralization occurs at the grassroots level with the support of GPAS, and they work no, in, not in silos, but integrate with all the other departments and work for uh, other t accelerating the TB elimination efforts. So in Karnataka, we have been implementing this GPA program. Uh, GPA stands for Gram Panchad Aryogya Amruta Abhyan, which is basically a health uh, uh, campaign. And it's been implemented, uh, we implemented first in 14 districts, and now it's been scaled up to 31 different, based on the success. Uh, so so in, on March, on the World TV Day, uh, March 2022, the MDNH of, um, of Karnataka presented on the uh, GPA and how the ex experience been shared on that. We also have modules specific for training orienting the GPAs. And there was, uh, following this, in the uh, post March, in the month of July, there was an MOU uh, which was signed between the CTD and the Ministry of Panchayat Raj. So this talks about the national vision uh, in involvement of uh, PRIs. And uh, recently we had a best practices uh, workshop on community engagement. During that workshop, we had Dr. Vijay Kumar Behera, who was the economic advisor for Panchayat Raj Institution. He uh, uh, post this uh, workshop, uh, he kind of sent a letter, guidance letter to all the uh, principal secretaries of PRI to support on TB, uh, to support the TB uh, elimination efforts in the respective geographies. So this is a sh short uh, video. Uh, I think an old presentation was added. The new presentation which was handed over has the video. If you could just play that. presentation mein nahi hai jo presentation humne diya tha vipin uh, sorry for the inconvenience cost so this video is about how we are getting involved uh, with the gpas at the grassroots levels and it talks about uh, how Karnataka was successful in implementing this. So uh, we know that GPA involvement is important, but how to engage them is what is uh, the crucial. So with the right orientation, with the right prospective building and taking down the, you know, placing the outcomes at the community level will definitely bring about this change on involvement and engaging with the Gram Panchayats. So with uh, our experience uh, says that with this kind of efforts, the Gram Panchayats were able to mobilize the communities and also conduct health camps. It was not only for TB, but also for NCDs and other uh, uh, important health uh, things. <coughs> Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I think with that I'll end my presentation. Are we I having hope that they will be able to show Are we having video. the video? Sure. Thank you so much. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, let's move to the next uh, presentation due to shortage of time, and uh, we will conclude after uh, finish after when we put the video. So, our next eminent uh, pre presenter is Dr. Raja. Uh, he is team lead STUC Maharashtra. He will be speaking on state-led corporate mobilization strategy from Maharashtra. Please. So, namaskar and uh, good evening all. Uh, at the outset, uh, let me thank the organizers for giving uh, this opportunity to present uh, Maharashtra's experience on corporate sector engagement. Actually, I'm uh, making this presentation on behalf of uh, STO Maharashtra, Dr. R. K. Kar. So, all of us know that uh, it's very important to engage the corporate uh, sector uh, for the ending the TB in uh, India. Uh, in Maharashtra, all of us know that uh, there are huge presence of uh, multiple corporates and industry sectors. And uh, definitely they have an advantage because they have a reach in most of the districts and they have uh, resources uh, which can support and meet needs of uh, RNTCP uh, in terms of getting the resources. So it's very important, vital elements, uh, corporate sector engagement uh, for elimination of TB from our country. And that's why our objective is to intensify corporate sector engagement by encouraging them and motivating them to engage with the NTP to meet our goals. So what we did in Maharashtra, definitely in past uh, few years also, there are efforts being made on uh, engagement of corporates, but uh, this year, uh, since our STSU was also on onboarded, we, along with the uh, WHO consultants uh, and under the leadership of STO of Maharashtra, we prepared a roadmap for 2022 for engagement of uh, corporate sector. So what we decided initially that uh, to understand this uh, new area, we should have uh, orientation of our uh, district TV officers and uh, PPM coordinators to understand uh, this uh, domain. And uh, to begin with, uh, always we need to have a mapping of uh, corporates uh, so that that will help us to prepare the plans futures. And we planned in a systematic way, like uh, we have decided to have a meeting with uh, some of the important stakeholders, like uh, Directorate of uh, Industry, Safety and Health, corporate associations, business associations, so that we can uh, reach uh, uh, multiple industry and organizations. We decided to have a uh, state level workshops with support from union, and ultimately preparing a plan, uh, implementation plan uh, for the NTP engagement with the corporates. So what, what, are, what were the strategies that we adopted in Maharashtra? Uh, so initially, we sensitized our commissioner uh, of health and uh, facilitated letters from him to different organizations like uh, DISH, Industry and Business Association, so that we can uh, get support from them. Again, uh, we had a meeting with our uh, director Dish and oriented him about the NTB goals and uh, why we need their support and collaboration. So this was the meeting with uh, Mr. Ashok Patil, director of Dish. Then we had uh, initiated coordinations with state and uh, district level Dish officers also so that they can initiate such kind of letters to the local industries and their associations so that uh, we can get their supports. Parallelly, from the state uh, TB office, uh, sir instructed all the district TB officers and city TB officers to have uh, meetings at the district level with the DIS officers and these industry associations so that we can get the support from them. And uh, we initiated a mapping, comprehensive mapping of uh, available corporate sectors, PSUs, industry associations in the state so that we can start coordinating with them. And also we have uh, we had meetings with the Rotary Clubs uh, in Maharashtra in different uh, districts also, and uh, they have started giving supports. 
So it's very important that uh, we need to have a capacity building. So we organize uh, this capacity building workshops with the support from union, uh, STSU team, and WHO consultants. So we had two workshops in Maharashtra, one organized in Mumbai and then for all the uh, uh, TB officers in Mumbai. And then uh, recently we had a workshop for all the AT district TB officers uh, for this multi-sectoral engagement and corporate se sector engagement for a full day. Uh, again, we had a workshop come, uh, training ses session with the Indian Association of uh, Occupational Health because these are very important uh, members who can support us to get linkages with their uh, companies and uh, subsequent uh, follow-ups. Also, we organize uh, trainings and orientation sessions for uh, corporates by state and dis uh, DTOs. They also started uh, conducting such workshops at the district level. Uh, again, uh, we started uh, strategically engaging with the industry and business association because it will take a long time to meet every industry and uh, doing those coordinations. So we decided to go uh, this kind of approach. Like uh, there are different associations at uh, uh, different places like we have Mar Maratha Chambers uh, Commerce Industries Association, Deccan Chambers uh, Commerce Industries Associations, then uh, Vasai Virar Industry Association. So we met with them, sensitized uh, them about the, this corporate sector engagement and why they, we need their supports for uh, uh, under NTP. And some of them already they have started working uh, with the NTP like uh, this Vasai Virar Industry, uh, Industry Association, they have sensitized more than 20 owners on TB uh, under their uh, association and uh, they have started a screening of TB cases. Other associations also, they have uh, agreed for uh, mobilizing the corporates under them and uh, they are going to start uh, these activities uh, in due course of time. Parallelly, we had uh, this internal capacity buildings uh, like uh, orientation of uh, DTOs, then uh, we sensitize our PPM coordinators. Uh, we had uh, two uh, batches uh, for the training of these uh, PPM coordinators because they are the forefront uh, uh, people who will be coordinating with the corporates and these industry associations in the local. Again, uh, we initiated uh, different letters uh, to all the district collectors, commissioners, uh, chief executive officers, mayors from the, our commissioner health and even few letters we have initiated from our honorable uh, health minister of Maharashtra. So that, that will, uh, they will start giving supports and these activities were started uh, to mobilize more people as a Nikshay Mitra in Maharashtra. Uh, definitely we start, did a lot of activities from the state level and uh, to the follow-up of these districts also started uh, doing these activities and some of the districts like uh, this uh, CTTB officer of Solapur, they themselves met local dish, uh, dish officers and initiated letters from them. They organized uh, meetings under the chairmanship of commission, municipal commissioner of Solapur uh, and they are, uh, called all the indust local industries and uh, sensitized them for their involvement in the NTP. They mapped their uh, industries in the Solapur and uh, they started sensitization uh, at their workplaces. Even uh, DTO Bandra from Mumbai, who is very uh, energetic and uh, new uh, CTO, he also started uh, engagement and uh, mobilizing local corporates uh, and uh, systematically like uh, every meetings, even from state levels, uh, WHO consultants, STCU members and wherever uh, union uh, team members are available, they also joined uh, for this kind of uh, sensitization. So definitely they are coming forward and supporting us. So from state also, we recognize their efforts and uh, some of the corporates, uh, we sub, uh, felicitated uh, by, uh, in uh, one of the recent meetings uh, by Honorable Governor of uh, Maharashtra as a Nikshay Mitra, we have felicitated them and in different forums uh, we have recognized their uh, support and appreciated their uh, uh, activities in the field. So if you see the outcome of these activities, uh, like for, uh, uh, these are the, some of the PSUs like uh, Mazgao Dock, uh, which is uh, a PSU who is involved in the SIP uh, building in Maharashtra. Uh, so they have adopted a Nandurbar as aspirational districts and uh, recently they have uh, donated 1.2 crore rupees to the district collector to get a mobile x-ray van and they are supporting uh, 400 uh, TB patients uh, for giving a nutritional support. 
So uh, even uh, Western Coalfield Coal Field Limited, uh, this is again a PSU in Nagpur. They have also given commitment for supporting 100 uh, TB patients uh, uh, for nutrition, and they're also uh, linking their health facilities for TB activities. JN Petty Port signed Gold TB plays under CTB and uh, started screening and notification of TB patients on their own. ONGC from uh, Riger, they are also on board and uh, they are supporting uh, uh, to the program. Uh, so again, uh, almost in Maharashtra, we have sensitized more than 100 corporates and uh, from it, almost 38 have already signed uh, corporate TB place. And uh, as on today, almost uh, 61 corporates in Maharashtra are registered as uh, Nikshay Mitra in different districts and they are providing uh, uh, nutrition support to the TB patients. And uh, so these are some of the corporates, uh, almost 22 corporates. They are provided, uh, they have started uh, uh, NTP activities in their workplaces, like they are uh, supporting uh, in awareness generations, uh, TB notification, they are providing diagnostic supports like Mazgao Doc uh, have a mobile X-ray van. So different activities already they have started uh, in Maharashtra uh, in different uh, districts. So these are few of the learnings and recommendations uh, that I would like to share with you all. So to begin with the corporate engagement, definitely we need to build uh, capacity of our uh, district TB officers and NTP staff so that they can take uh, these activities further. Again, uh, very important that we need to have a comprehensive mapping of corporate uh, sector available uh, in every districts so that uh, we can uh, prepare a district-wise plan. And we need to have a diversity of approach when we are uh, coordinating with these different kind of uh, corporate sectors. Again, uh, we need to prioritize and utilize some of the offices like DISH, we can uh, uh, fast track the processes of uh, engagement. Again, uh, Indian uh, Association of Occupational Health. These are the doctors who are uh, doing actual screening of uh, workforce in the work, uh, industries and making them uh, sensitize is very much helpful. And again, I will suggest that before visiting to any corporates, we should go with proper preparation so that we can uh, sensitize them and uh, mobilize them properly. Very important that uh, it's very good to get prepared and a team of experts, uh, if they visit uh, such big corporates, this gives a better output. Like we have this planning and we did this like uh, with support from union, WHO consultant, state officers, STSU. So we used to visit jointly to these corporates so that uh, we don't come back empty handed. Because we had some examples like so with only PPM coordinator goes and visits and then sometimes he comes back empty handed. So that that's approach is very important. And again, we have to recognize their efforts, continue support to the district TB officers and PPM coordinators, and ultimately continuous follow-up of all these activities that will uh, help us to take uh, to the, towards the end. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Dr. Rajava, uh, for showing a case study on corporate engagement. And that is wonderful to hear and to enlighten us uh, that it's not only the big corporates that we need to uh, involve, it's the small corporates also. It's not only that we have to leverage the CSR responsibility, we also have to look the, to implement the TB-free workplace policy. Apart from that, your engagement with Department of Industrial um, Health and uh, Industrial Security and Health, so that is also very, you know, that uh, 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 it's, 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 a, it's a way forward to other states also that uh, we need to engage them to implement this industry uh, TB-free workplace policy in the, because uh, those, the, lab, the, the laborers in those industries are working in very close places. So thank you very much for that. Uh, regarding that uh, KHPT presentation uh, that uh, we heard about is Gram Panchayat Aragya Amrita Abhiyan and the convergence with the health and wellness centers on the health for all. So that is a good example that uh, it's not only the TB, the other diseases can also be taken care of. And, uh, and it's, it's a classical uh, example that how we should move ahead towards TB-free panchayats. And it is glad to see that the efforts that has been taken at the national level that we have collaborated with Ministry of Panchayat Raj and the MOU that we had signed and uh, that has been utilized by the state. So it is a, a success story for us also at the national level. Yeah, so is the video ready to play? Yeah.
ನಮಸ್ಕಾರ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವೆಲ್ಕಮ್ ಟು ಆರ್ ಗ್ರಾಮ ಪಂಚಾಯತ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ಸ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಗ್ರಾಮ ಪಂಚಾಯತ್ ರೆಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಅ ಲಾರ್ಜ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡೈವರ್ಸ್ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಟಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದಿಯರ್ ವೆಲ್ ಬೀಯಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅಟ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಅಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಿ ಬೆಟರ್ ದನ್ ಅ ಹೆಲ್ದಿ ಪಂಚಾಯತ್ ಆ್ಯಸ್ ದ ಸೆಂಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ವಿಲೇಜ್ ಅಡ್ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟ್ರೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡೆವಲಪ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ದ ಪಂಚಾಯತ್ ಇಸ್ ರೆಸ್ಪಾನ್ಸಿಬಲ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎನ್ಶೋರಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಒನ್ ಇಸ್ ಏಬಲ್ ಟು ಆಕ್ಸೆಸ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಸರ್ವಿಸಸ್ but we cannot do it alone in the year 2021 we were trained under the gram panchayat arogya amrita abhiyana it is a government program of the department of rural development and panchayat raj and health and family welfare through this we understood how important it is to address health issues in our areas and how we can plan our health activities better we now have a health management kit and this kit helps us to screen individuals for tb diabetes hypertension and undernutrition achieving health for all is not an easy goal as you know there are so many vulnerable people in our communities for whom even going to a health center itself is very tough such as the daily wage laborers the elderly the women the children and the adolescents and they all need our extra support we would like to also share some examples of panchayats that are doing some excellent work in mirle gram panchayat in mysuru district our fellow panchayat officials and vhsncs have come together to plan health activities in their villages This has been done through a collaborative and detailed micro-planning process which helps them plan their outreach to the populations that need it most. This is Mirle Gram Panchayat. This is the most important part of the Gram Panchayat. This is the most important part of the Gram Panchayat. This is the most important part of the Gram Panchayat. This is the most important part of the Gram Panchayat. ಅಂಗನವಾಡಿ ಇಲಾಖೆ ಶಿಶುಭಿವೃದ್ಧಿ ಇಲಾಖೆ ಅವರ ಮೀಟಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ರತಿ ತಿಂಗಳು ತಿಂಗಳು ಮೀಟಿಂಗ್ ಕರೆದು ಆ ಮೀಟಿಂಗ್ಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಚರ್ಚೆ ಮಾಡಿ ಪಂಚಾಯತ್ ಸದಸ್ಯರೊಂದಿಗೆ ಚರ್ಚೆ ಮಾಡಿ ಆ ವಾರ್ಡ್ಗೊಂದು ಸಮಿತಿ ಮಾಡಿ ಆ ಸಮಿತಿಗಳ ಮುಖಾಂತರ ಆಯಾ ವಾರ್ಡ್ಗೆ ಅಂಗನವಾಡಿ ವರ್ಕರ್ಸು ಮತ್ತು ಆಶಾ ವರ್ಕರ್ಸು ಮತ್ತು ನಮ್ಮ ಪಂಚಾಯತಿ ನೌಕರನ್ನ ಸೇರಿಸಿ ಒಂದು ಕಮಿಟಿ ಮಾಡ ಮಾಡಿಕೊಂಡು ಆ ಕಮಿಟಿಯ ಮುಖಾಂತರ ಈ ಕ್ಷಯ ರೋಗ ನಿರ್ಮೂಲನಾ ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮಕ್ಕೆ ನಾವು ಅದನ್ನು ಸಹಕಾರಿಯಾಗಿ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಮಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದೀವಿ in sushil nagar gram panchayat in ballari and mm hills in chamraj nagar for example the distance to the health care facilities and the fear of missed wages are preventing the narega workers and daily wage laborers from availing health services sandru talukina sushil nagar gram panchayat vyaptiyalli bartakkanta 5 gramgalu idave aa 5 gramgalu illi bartakkanta ಜನಸಂಖ್ಯೆ ಬಂದು ಸುಮಾರಾಗಿ ಹತ್ತು ಸಾವಿರದ ಎಂಟುನೂರ ಐವತ್ತು ಮೇಲ್ಪಟ್ಟು ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥರು ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಅದರಲ್ಲಿ ಜಾಸ್ತಿಯಾಗಿ ಪರಿಷ್ಠ ಜಾತಿ ಮತ್ತು ಪರಿಷ್ಠ ಪಂಗಡದವರು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಇರ್ತಾರೆ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಸಂಬಂಧಪಟ್ಟಂಗೆ ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರೀಯ ಗ್ರಾಮೀಣ ಉದ್ಯೋಗ ಖಾತ್ರಿ ಯೋಜನೆಯಡಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಗ್ರಾಮಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಐದು ಗ್ರಾಮಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ಬರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ನಾಲ್ಕು ಗ್ರಾಮಗಳನ್ನು ನಾವು ಕಾಮಗಾರಿ ಕೆಲಸಗಳನ್ನ ಪ್ರಾರಂಭಿಸಿದ್ದೇವೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಎನ್ ಸಿ ಡಿ ಕ್ಯಾಂಪ್ ಮಾಡಿದೆವು ಅಂತ ಬಂದಂದರೆ ನಮ್ಮ ಗ್ರಾಮ ಪಂಚಾಯತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಗ್ರಾಮ ಮಟ್ಟದ ಟಾಸ್ಕ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಸಮಿತಿ ಇದೆ ಆ ಟಾಸ್ಕ್ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಸಮಿತಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ಅವರನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ತೆಗೆದುಕೊಂಡು ಜನರಿಗೆ ಅವೇರ್ನೆಸ್ ಮೂಲಕ ಮಾಡಿ ಆ ಅವೇರ್ನೆಸ್ನಿಂದ ಸಾರ್ವಜನಿಕರಿಗಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಸುಗರ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಅದು ಸಂಬಂಧಪಡ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಟೆಸ್ಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಗಿರ್ಬೋದು ಅಥವಾ ಬೇರೆ ಕಾಮಗಾರಿ ಕಾಯಿಲೆಗಳನ್ನು ನಾವು ಅವರನ್ನ ತಿಳ್ಕೊಂಡು ಅದನ್ನು ತೆಗೆದುಕೊಂಡು ಜನರು ಅವರೇ ಬಂದು ಅವರ್ನೆಸ್ ಆಗಿ ಬಂದು ಈ ಒಂದು ಕಾರ್ಯಕ್ರಮ ಕೂಡ ಅವರು ನಮಗೆ ಬಂದು ನಮಗೆ ಅನ್ವಯ ಆಗ್ತಾರೆ ಆಮೇಲೆ ಅವರು ಟೆಸ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿಸ್ಕೊಂತ ಇದೆ ಅದರಿಂದ ಜನರಿಗೆ ಕೂಡ ಅನುಕೂಲ ಆಗಿದೆ ದ ಪಂಚಾಯತ್ಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಕಮ್ ಅಪ್ ವಿತ್ ಅ ಸೊಲ್ಯೂಷನ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಯೂಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ಪೋರ್ಟಬಲ್ ಹೆಲ್ತ್ ಮ್ಯಾನೇಜ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಕಿಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಕಂಡಕ್ಟ್ ಅವೇರ್ನೆಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸ್ಕ್ರೀನಿಂಗ್ ಕ್ಯಾಂಪ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಟಿ ಬಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫಾರ್ ನಾನ್ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಕೇಬಲ್ ಡಿಸೀಸಸ್ ರೈಟ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿಯರ್ ವರ್ಕ್ ಸೈಟ್ಸ್ ಏನು ಗೌರ್ಮೆಂಟಿಂದ ನಮಗೆ ಡಾಕ್ಟ್ರುಗಳು ಬಂದು ನಮ್ಮ ನಮ್ಮ ಗ್ರಾಮದಲ್ಲಿ ಬಂದು ನಮಗೆಲ್ಲ ಚೆಕ್ ಮಾಡಿ ಬಿ ಪಿ ಇನ್ನೊಂದು ಏನು ಬೇರೆ ಕಾಯಿಲೆಗಳು ಇಲ್ಲ ಕೊರೋನಾ ಕಾಯಿಲೆಗಳು ನಮಗೆಲ್ಲ ಆರಾಮಾಗಿ ಮಾಡಿ ನಮಗೆಲ್ಲ ಆರಾಮಾಗಿ ಚೆನ್
Just wanted to conclude that uh, government of Karnataka has shown us as pioneered in working on this, engaging with the Gram Panchayats, and they have shown us how to engage with them. So as we are progressing towards ending TB, I think involvement of Gram Panchayat is going to be a real game changer. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Dr. Rehana, and we are very sorry because of the paucity of time, we couldn't play the whole of the video. Okay, so with this, uh, uh, I open the forum for discussions and questions, if any, for a very short time. Any questions? Oh, you have? Yeah, okay. please. Uh, can someone give him the mic? I request you to be very quick and short, please. Yeah. I, yeah, 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 please go ahead. Yeah, very short question. Just a clarification from Dr. Yale, because in Maharashtra, <coughs> Maharashtra is the first state who has uh, adopted forest right at the Gram Panchayat level and Gram Sabha level. So, and since you are working, lot of interventions are already doing in terms of TB elimination from the state. So, what sort of, because there is a individual and community rights the government is providing to the you know vulnerable and uh, targeted populations so what sort of is there any plan of engaging uh, gram sabha for you know giving individual and community forest right maybe even minor forest produce uh, rights to the community because ultimately it, it will help to the household income increase in the household income that will help in the nutrition status of the you know, TB patients. So what is your take in this? Thank you. Yeah, thank you for your questions. So I'm not sure I will be able to answer your question <laughs> clearly. Uh, but in Maharashtra, the way Karnataka is doing uh, for engagement of Gram Panchayat, in that line, we are also uh, planning for involvement of uh, Gram Panchayats. And uh, you are working uh, towards uh, TB free villages, so we are identifying uh, local TB champions, uh, involving local Sarpanch, like we are planning to have the Sarpanch as our Nikshay Mitra. So those kind of uh, activities uh, we are initiating, like we have uh, Asha's uh, involved over there. So those are the some of the activities uh, we have initiated. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Dr. Yole. Uh, so with this, uh, we would like to close this session and uh, we thank all the presenters for taking out time and especially Dr. Vaidya because uh, there's some event of the PM, but still he could find time to spare with us. Thank you all. Thank you so much. Thank you, moderators. Uh, Dr. Shanu and Dr. Mregan, I would request you to be, please be uh, seated. I would uh, request... Dr. Lakshmi Murali, Joint Director TB from Tamil, uh, from Tamil Nadu, and Dr. Kristen Ho from CDC, to please uh, join us on the dais and felicitate our speakers. Dr. Christine Ho will present a memento to Dr. Santosh Roy. He's STO from West Bengal. Thank you, sir, for joining us and sharing your experience with us. I would request uh, Dr. Murali to please share uh, this certificate with Dr. Roy. Uh, I would request uh, them to please present the memento and the certificate to Dr. Rehana Begum. Thank you, ma'am, for sharing your wonderful experience with us. Now, I'd like to request you, uh, ma'am, to please present the memento and the certificate to Dr. Yole.
Thank you, sir, for sharing the experiences with us. Uh, I would request the dignitaries and the moderators uh, to please be with us. Uh, I would request uh, them to please present the plans to our moderator, Dr. Mrigen and Dr. Shanu. Thank you. Can we have a group photo of this uh, session speakers, please? Along with the moderators, please. Can we have a big round of applause for the session speakers, please? Ladies and gentlemen, we would not be breaking for tea as of now because we are already running behind the schedule. We would quickly like to move on to session five, which is regarding support of association in multi-sectoral and corporate engagement. Industry associations have the potential to bring together a number of corporates and entities 